Yo, what is going on guys, it's Toy here, and for today's Destiny 2 video, we're actually going to be taking a look at the character Sophia, and who she is, and what she has an influence on for Savala. Because basically, you've seen, um, so far in Season of the Haunted, a character basically staying around Zavala, similar to how Crow has Aldrin being the nightmare that he has, but his nightmare ends up being Sophia. So now we're actually going to take a look at the data mine cutscene to basically give you an origin story for Zavala's basically nightmare. And it'll give a little bit of an explanation on who Sophia is. But then after that, we're actually going to be looking into some small Easter eggs and some hints that we could have basically looked at going forward, well, from going into this season. If it was, well, if we knew it was going to be about nightmares. But basically we get the information about Zavala having a wife on the Forbidden Memory ship and we'll take a look into that after the videos but now let's watch the data mine cutscene. Before the Vanguard, before the city, there was a woman. Her name was Sophia and she was a surgeon. She came to Lord Saladin's gates, offering her skills in exchange for shelter. Zavala was his protege then. He had been taught his purpose, and he followed it without question. She maddened him. He infuriated her. But respect grew to admiration, and admiration to love. Does it surprise you that Zavala loved? She was meticulous and gentle, strong-willed, stubborn, fearless. It began with an infant orphaned in a fallen raid. Saladin had taught Zavala duty, war, and the light. But Sophia showed him that he was more than an instrument of violence. She had one life, and she would share it with him. They called the boy Hakim. And he called Zavala father. In his joy, Zavala thought to abandon the light, as he had abandoned Saladin's ways. That joy ended as it began, with their son. When Hakim followed his father into battle, Zavala could not protect him, and Sophia could not save him. Hakim died in his mother's arms. Zavala wanted her forgiveness, but she knew there was nothing to forgive. And that giving up the light would be no absolution for him. They return to the lives they once led. She found love again. She had a daughter. And when Sophia passed, he asked her to forgive him. Through each generation, he mourned. He asked for their forgiveness. And still, he has not found it. So basically the first time we're introduced to Zavala's wife or girlfriend is on the Forbidden Memory ship. And on this ship, it does say a decent amount about Zavala and his former lover. And on one of the parts of the ship, it says... Well, it's basically like after the giant uh, war with the Elixir happened, like at the end of a uh, season of the Splicer, um, when all the Vex invaded that uh, base with the Elixir and killed a large amount of them, um, they had a little funeral type area. And basically afterwards and like when everybody was like done, like mourning the deaths and stuff, uh, Savala basically reached out, he took a candle, he closed his eyes and cast his memory back to the day of her funeral. 
the smell of low tide and the rumble of the thunderclouds on the horizon. He felt their static charge surge through the salt air and into his body. He opened his eyes and the wick burst into flame. Zavala smiled. It was just the type of parlor trick she had always enjoyed. Zavala placed the candle amongst its extinguished fellows. Soothed by the tiny flickering flame, he reached back, calling forth another memory. Her lithe form curled under the thin blankets in contended sleep, the pre-dawn glow seeping into the room, her dark curls splayed across the white pillow, her musky floral scent, her clothes strewn across the furniture. He yearned to reach out and awaken her, see her drowsy smile, hear her voice, but he knew that would transform the experience from memory to fantasy. He wanted to preserve her as she was, perfect and mortal. Then that moment vanished, and he was Commander Zavala once more. So basically now for the questions you probably have for, like, what Easter eggs did I miss, or what the main thing is within this uh, little data mine cutscene, well, one of the things that I did find within it was, well, Sophia, the child, and Zavala all holding what means, well, a lot to Zavala, obviously. He uh, gives that to basically the sacrifice type thing to summon their nightmares. My heart from a time long past. You basically you see the two little uh, sewing type things that Zavala lays down that something that means dear to him. And after the whole nightmare ordeal happens, we end up seeing the nightmare behind Zavala be summoned. Burdens. And these nightmares, I personally think that, like, it's not something that basically he knows that he did wrong. It's more so something that he can't get over. And the nightmare isn't something that is basically, like, scary in a way. It's more so something that he can't forgive himself for. Like, how... Crow can't forgive himself for what Aldrin did. Um, basically, Zavala can't forgive himself for the death of the child and losing the one he loved. So basically, this is like him getting stuff off of his chest in a way. Um, basically trying to confront the nightmare and trying to get forgiveness. Um, we don't know if he's going to get forgiveness, but we'll see how he handles this nightmare um, throughout the season. But yeah... That's all I have for information for uh, Sophia right now. If we get any more going forward, which I assume we will uh, throughout the season, I'm planning on posting it all. But if this gave you guys a little bit of clarification on who she is as of right now, make sure to leave a like. And yeah, it's been Toy Guys. Later.